sometimes when you're trying to create sheet metal components that have multiple angles, um, it can be a little bit tricky. So we want to create a um, piece that's going to fit in here. The easier way of doing it is to create it in the part environment. So um, I'm going to use graphic input to define my coordinate system. And I want it grounded. I'm going to choose that. It's going to be made out of steel. Um, I'm just going to start off in the part environment. And if I hover over this face here, that orientates the um, coordinate system. And if I change my key point snap to midpoint, I can position my cursor right in the middle here. And um, right mouse click to accept the um, So we just define our name, save that, and that moves us into the part environment to carry on our modeling. So if we start by creating a box, I can lock my plane here, and that allows me to pick up a um, key point off the other geometry. Likewise, here, you can see that that point drops in to the front and then to finish off I can snap to the center of that circle on that front face. So that creates our box for us. Unfortunately it's not quite that simple so if we pick on the top face, change our um, steering wheel and drop this top face down by 40 degrees and what I also want to do is have this side face match out to the um, right hand side. So if we go coplanar, so this is a 3D face relationship, um, pick that face and pick on this one. That now builds in a relationship that defines the um, position of that face there. Finally, I want to take a um, strip across the front here. So if we um, use our projector sketch again, picking our face to work on, F3 to accept it, I can um, pick up off this edge here as my um, definition. And um, then we can use our extrude command, um, extrude a cut and pick a single point, pick the thing, right mouse click to accept, choose the direction about which you want to cut it and just step through and complete that. So as I said, this is going to be a sheet metal component and um, I only want sort of part edges across the top here. So I'll go back to my projector sketch command. And if I hover over here, you'll see that it, it's um, highlighting this edge here. Um, that's changed the orientation. So if I hit the N key, that allows me to um, scroll around. I can lock it in that position. So it defines the um, angle of the um, crosshairs. So if I want to project, a um, project with offset this time, Set my distance to 15 millimeters and I can just place that one there and same on this one. Um, to be able to create this as a closed region, I need these points to um, extend to the edge. So I can just use the connect command and just drop that back to, we can drop it the right edge there. So turning that off, we can also create an edge across here. And again, if I hit the N key to rotate that cursor, F3 to lock it, we can now orient that to where I want it to be. 
So as I said, I want um, only flanges across here. So just to give that a bit more definition for my um, conversion into uh, sheet metal, I just need to create a little bit of a region here to um, define that by. So we can turn off the background for now. Let's just see what we're looking at. So if I um, right mouse click down here and go transition to ordered, um, that makes it the um, part to ship metal option available. And clicking on that, we specify what your default bend radius is going to be. So I want five mil and a three mil gap. And don't really want to make any changes there. So the way this works is to click on the edges that are going to be your um, bends, sheet metal thickness, and you see it jumped out. Um, I want it to stay inside the um, enclosed box that we've got. So that's just a matter of clicking on the arrow there. Then we go round and click on the other edges that are going to form the bends. And quickly we can build up that um, sheet metal object that we're after. Notice that in some corners we've got these dots. Clicking on those allows us to um, specify the um, two corner um, options. So we can put a rounded cutout in here. And you'll see that that comes in nicely. So when we've, when we've done what we need to, right mouse click and that now creates a um, sheet metal component which um, can be flattened so on the tools we have flatten and define your orientation you'll see that we have our flat pattern of that object So finally, um, you'll see that there are some um, bolts in here. We can do a inspection on that, just to a general measure. Click on that, we can see that it's uh, six mil diameter. So um, going back to our hole command, uh, choose our hole options. Uh, isometric so one of the options is general screw clearance so it's a m6 and we can choose which sort of fit we want on there so we'll go just a normal and that sets up our size for us so being in order we need to choose the face and I can just quickly go around um, I can either just select the one or I could um, pattern it if I wish to. Making sure I get the center point correctly. So let's close out the sketch. And there are our holes. So that completes our um, shape, which in normal circumstances would be quite tricky to um, complete. But using the um, convert to um, sheet metal gives us the ability of creating something that is, is quite um, complex.